all right the objective of this video is to create a heading in ms word in fact any text in ms word with a colored background that extends to the end of the margins or to be more accurate the beginning of the margins just like the one that you see here you have text with a background that extends all the way from the beginning of the margins let's see how it's done okay the best way to do this is to work on styles you have your styles list in your ms word right under the home tab so let's select any of the style uh, let's do it for heading it looks better it's more usable you generally don't have background color for the content the body content let's work on heading so you go to home style list we are working on you can select any of the styles i'm just going with the heading one right click on the specific style modify okay there are two things that we need to edit here click on format button one is the border then once we are done with the border settings then we move to paragraph let's do the border first setting is none jump to shading right here select the background color that you would love to have behind your text uh, let's go with maybe this one blue yes this is how we want the background to be we've selected a color apply to paragraph yes click ok this is the preview now this doesn't extend to the beginning of the margins on your left and your right so go back to format select paragraph and focus on the section called indentation you've got left and right so let's play with this we need to reduce the indentation what are, what is indentation it is the end of a margin this is the beginning of the margin where follow my cursor this is the beginning and this is the end of the margin and on your on the other side this is the beginning of your margin and goes all the way here so we need to reduce the indentation so that the color the background color extends to that part let's just see how it looks right now so you guys have better idea i'm clicking okay okay and i write some text this is test okay and i select the style we that we just worked on heading one this is what we have achieved with the steps that we just did right now so, but this is not the end of our objective we need the color to extend something like what we just saw here we need it to extend to the starting and end of the page we go back to the same style right click modify and format and this time we need to go to paragraph select paragraph back to indentation section now we need to reduce the indentation so we need to go negative so i guess the indentation measure of our margin is minus one <coughs> let's try that minus one from the right and left and okay <coughs> okay we are getting there but we don't want the text to start from this point we need it to be aligned with our margin let's go back to paragraph this is fine indentation is fine let's this is a special drop down you want it hanging or you want to maintain the first line let's see okay there is progress but we still need it to be better keep it at first line then by 0 0.1 nope you are going the wrong way let's do it again paragraph okay you can actually preview it here bring it to one that is the that is the unit of the margin minus one but you don't want your text to start at minus one which is right here near my cursor you want it to start at one the actual margin and you give 
okay that's it you don't want the numbering you can just go to numbering and select none okay go back to para reset your indentation to minus one reset your special by first line and one this solves our indentation problem give okay there you go and do yourself a favor for headings go to modify remove this style for following paragraph don't ever have it as any of the headings keep it at normal that helps you once you're done with your heading you give you press enter and you can start writing your content that's just an additional tip hope that was useful so let's check it out now let's try it out select your created heading that's our objective cool you, you can customize other stuff you want it white in terms of font give white that's it you're done hope this helps this this is nothing technical this is only for aesthetic purpose uh, a lot of people like to create templates and this is one of the heading style that you can go for you can use it for any of the styles that you have not just headings you can have it for your just normal text maybe you want uh, text to be highlighted but you want it much more uh, vibrant than the general highlight that you have in text boxes you can do it for all your styles it's all about modifying the settings that i showed go to format and you've got your border and paragraph these are the two main settings that you need to change hope that's hope that helps and thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye